Okay, so the other day I was on Twitter and that wasteland. Yeah, well, <laughs> X is what it's called now, not Twitter. Are you serious? They changed the oh, name. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not social media literate. <laughs> no. I didn't know they changed the name of Twitter. Yeah, Elon Musk came through. Well, you know Elon Musk bought Twitter, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he bought Twitter and then I guess as like his big movement, he was like, I'm gonna change the name of this thing to X. And of course, like people everyone freaked out because they're well, like, yeah. I don't like change. Change is terrifying. I don't love change. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> but yeah, uh so but that's what you would do if you buy the company. Yeah, yeah change, change, change the name. The name. Like, make you know, it your own. Exactly. Like, that makes sense. Anyway. It, but it doesn't help that you can still, like, find it. Like, if you look up Twitter.com and, you know, it's well, it's that, still Twitter. That's right. Google's al- algorithm. You can't argue with that. Well, what I found funny about Twitter is that everyone, like, freaked out. Like, people, even people I know personally were like, this is it. Twitter's going to die. And I was like, what do you... Like, <laughs> You think it's just going to explode because he changed <laughs> the name or what? They were like, he's changing everything. Like, um, uh, do you know what a blue check mark is? That means like verified, like you're, yeah, you're, you're a like, big shit, essentially. Yeah. You're just running around. You're the guy. <laughs> everyone looks to you and they're like, oh, my gosh. How do you even get verified? Do you need to like. Well, so back in the day, it was like a panel. Right, so like you used to have to, yeah, you used to have to. <laughs> you had to appeal to the Twitter gods <laughs> yeah. to get a blue check mark. <laughs> You'd walk into the room and it would just be like, "Welcome to Twitter headquarters. What is your purpose?" I just want to get a uh, silence. Uh, Tell us, what is your current follower count? One hundred one k. Child's play. <laughs> Get him out of our sights. I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. Don't would... take me to the dungeon. <laughs> That's right. The Twitter dungeon. <laughs> you get that, imagine how depressing that place is. It's just you and Ben Shapiro <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you just, they With throw you in there the like, oh, it's so cold and terrifying. <laughs> and then you look over and he's just like, I want to talk to you about my Judeo-Christian values. God. He just, he like corners you and you're like, please stop it. <laughs> ben Shapiro, I don't, I don't care about Orthodox Judaism. <laughs> look at I'm this sorry. Pi- look at this picture of me holding a two by four. Doesn't this make me look manly? It, no, what if I take really, my shirt off? Check no. it out. I have one app. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the dream. Why did you put me in here? <laughs> let me out. Please, God, let me out. Twitter gods, let me out. <laughs> Anyway, you were saying you were on uh, blue check mark. Yeah, so I was on. Uh, I was on X, right? Oh, X. Yeah, and, <laughs> and there's a difference with the blue check mark, apparently. Yeah, and so I saw I saw this dude on X, and he was complaining about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. There's a new like animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, I've I've seen the trailers. It looks pretty I haven't cool. watched it. Yeah. But- but they sound like teenagers. Surprise, surprise. They didn't the the cast... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sound like teenagers. Well, yeah, because, I mean, and I know that sounds and ridiculous, the... but, like, 10 years ago, they probably would have had, like, Bill Hader, Chris That's true. Pratt, and, like, a bunch of, like, adults well, doing the voices. Okay, did you ever watch the original, no, maybe not original, because... Oh, like the it, 80s live action? Yeah, with the, like, terrible suits and everything. Okay, first off. I No, I love those movies. Don't get me wrong, but... It, like looking back at it, I was like, "How did I enjoy this as a kid?" What do you? Talk- I love those movies. Still. I still love them, but it's just—it's the same I, reason I, we I enjoy. It's the, the same reason we enjoy Power Rangers is because yeah, we were just true. gullible. Well, and it's the campy attitude, so I <laughs> I, I, under, I understand that. But yeah, so he's he's watching. He, he I guess he watched this new animated version, which is like the animation is kind of in the style of um, Spider Verse. Like the new okay. Spider Verse movies, it's really cool. Like really different looking. Like well, like yeah, like Neo, like comic booky. Yeah, right. Where they kind of like yeah, I I rather enjoy that. So they have like a thing. There's like a scene where they you know talk like teenagers from New York would talk. You know, like they use words like bussin and lit and mid. You know, and it's like okay, well, you know, it, this make, is a, it does make sense for the universe. It's appealing there. to children. Well, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the 90s weren't just depictions yeah. of 90s teenagers. They, like, were, they said dude. And pizza. And, and cowabunga. And pizza was, cowabunga, yes. Yeah. And the pizza was like the, the main thing. It yeah. was always about pizza. Of course, that makes sense. It's But it's, these people, apparently, they're like, 
in their head, they're like, this, this isn't, isn't how, the same. Yeah, like, d- dude, you're almost 30, bro. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, imagine you're walking into a movie specifically made for children, and your complaint is that the movie that's made for children sounds like it's made for children. Well, it, no duh, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what it's for, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I don't understand the language they're saying. It <laughs> doesn't make sense. It scares me. I don't like change. He's probably one of those X users that that, More is, likely. that, that was afraid of the Twitter change. Yeah. And there, apparently there was something different with the verification. Now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the verification on Twitter, uh, now you just pay for it, right? So you just pay five bucks a month well, and you get a blue check the way it was before? Am I wrong? Well, so, <laughs> well it's kind of different, right? Because... Back then, people paid for the verification, but when they would pay for the verification, it was in a sense of like, oh, I'm going to give this guy, I'm going to cash app a Twitter employee, you know, $20,000, and they're going to give me a verified check mark. Whereas now it's like, hey, if you want a verified check mark, you just pay five bucks a month, right? And like, that just goes for everybody, right? So like, if it, it, like whether you're a company or a celebrity or whatever, you have to pay five bucks a month. It doesn't matter what your following is. And if you're a company, they give you like a, like a grayish kind of check mark. Like if you're like an actually like verified company, like if you're WWE right. on Twitter, you're, you have like this kind of grayish check mark and like a, a square picture, which shows that you're like a legit company so that, you know, dumbasses don't like get swindled by. Oh, uh, the, 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 the fake outs that yeah. like at McDonald's.com. Yeah. Because you know, WWE would definitely send you a DM. That's like, it's me, Vince McMahon. <laughs> I'm stranded on feet. this. <laughs> I'm stranded on the, yeah. Show me your feet. Also, I'm stranded on this desert Island and I need $200 cash app to me to get off of it. I don't have access to my credit cards right now. Help. But, you know, it's Vince McMahon. I'm sure he'll hook me up (laughs) if I help him out. And, you know, this goes back to that conversation we had about social media where people are like, hey, only smart people will reply with their credit card information. (laughs) Right, right. (laughs) Those are the same people getting got. (laughs) At at that point, it's kind of just survival of the fittest. Yeah. Why would Lady Gaga be hitting you up for 30 bucks? (laughs) Right. Anyways, let's hit this intro real quick. Southwest has been home to the most infamous outlaws. From Billy the Kid to Neil Patrick Harris. Safe to say, legends have wandered these deserts. And if you listen closely, you can almost hear the wind whisper their story over this barren land. Well, these two gunslingers They have their own story to tell. They're shooting from the hip. Anyways, back to the Twitter thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, X, X. Sorry, <laughs> X. <laughs> what a name! I know, right? It's not. It's like a porn site. That's what it is. <laughs> imagine well, no, that, that would be three of them. Imagine like, imagine like you are in a relationship with someone and you look at their phone and one of their apps is X. Oh, I would be. I would be questioning. You'd be like, "What is that? <laughs> what? What's X? Why do you have that?" <laughs> no, so. Um, yeah, so here, let me look up the tweet because I, I have it bookmarked. And and like I said, this guy's reaction was, uh, I mean, like, I understand, like, maybe going into a, a a movie, even if it's for children, you know, and being like, oh, it's children's movies can be smart, you know, like Pixar movies, and they can have a soul and, and whatever, mm. right? But this man walked in and he said, and this is from, uh, I'm going to read it out so that I can dox him. Uh, <laughs> you can dox the shit out of him. His name is at Moshino Dorito, right? And he said, man, 
screenwriting and comedy at large just sucks ass now, huh? And this is what this is what it sounds like. Don't do the talking. Hey, I'm a gangster. I got my puff on my Tim's. I need my bacon, egg, and cheese too. You got the good super fly? Bacon, egg, cheese. Bacon, egg, cheese. Let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, cheese. Yo, Iris, let me get that bacon. Okay, now I'm not saying it's good, but. Does that not sound like teenagers from New York? Exactly. Like yeah. that that's the thing. Is it supposed to sound like that? And it does. So I don't I like yes, but like what did, I, you, what what did I, he what want I, them to say? Like, oh exactly like Carlos Leonardo, <laughs> I have been feeling quite under the weather lately. I could use myself a bit of an appetite. Do you have an appetizer on you? Like <laughs> what the fuck did you want? Like Exactly. Like, uh yes, do I find it annoying? Yes, because I'm fucking old. But <laughs> yeah, straight up, that's that's what it is. Her back gang, what's up? <laughs> I understood maybe a word of that, so I'm just out of the loop. But it's cool, man. I'm hip. I'm young. I'm different. I can I can I can feel the hip and youngness. I actually just turned 21 recently. Oh sure, <laughs> bussin gang. <laughs> No, I, but that's my thing, man, is like you're walking into a situation where you're walking into a movie made for children, specifically teenage children, and you're walking out surprised that it, the dialogue is written for teenage children. Yeah. Brother, like what? <laughs> I, 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 and I kind of understand where you're coming from, because if I was going to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I would have to have my sister buy me. So that she like can translate, <laughs> put it in, put it in my language and, and then we'll, we'll be good. <laughs> hey, uh, sweetie, what, what, <laughs> what did they this? just say? Oh, uh, they just said they're happy to be here. Oh, good. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. <laughs> no, dude. But like, <laughs> honestly, what do you, what are you freaking out about? You walked into a movie theater knowing you were watching the teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right. Did you expect Shakespearean dialogue? Right. Not to mention the fact, like, he called into into question the screenplay and the plot, I want to say, as well, right? Yeah. Now, that maybe could be called into question. Maybe that could be subpar. Could, but you could still have a very good movie, plot-wise, act-wise, and gear it towards the teenage demographic because that's who you're trying to hit. And that's what I'm saying. Is like if you're, you're, you're bringing two teenage mutant ninja turtles to a new demographic. generation of teenagers because it was created in the nineties. Like, I mean, if I was a twelve year old, you don't think I'd be laughing like super hard if that happened in the yeah, middle? Because like you would, you would know exactly what's going on. Yeah, it'd be like I relate to this. This is right. relatable. I I understand this conversation because I have this conversation with my friends. Yeah. Meanwhile. Some 26 year old is like digging his nails into this well, the seat at the theater. Yeah, he's just upset because he going he, home. He, to, he's realizing he's getting old and yeah. doesn't understand what's going on anymore. I like to imagine he was watching it in his living room and he was like, that scene happened. He was like, get the dog out of the room. <laughs> ah! You know, it's like, you right. Picked up his, his lazy boy and chucked it across the. Just, ah! Yeah. <laughs> and like seeing the dude, he's, he's not. Old, like he looks like a twenty-something-year-old. He's about our age, but what are you freaking out about, man? Do you not remember? Well, like, is that a thing? Do you just forget what it was like to be a teenager? Like, I'm I, sorry, I think man, that's but- part of it. Um, and I think a lot of it is getting to the age that our parents were yeah. while we were in that stage. Maybe not there, but approaching it, and not and not being okay with that transition, realizing that. You're getting fucking old, and, and that's that's normal. Guys. It, it happens. <laughs> and media changes. It. My biggest thing is not condemning the the media for that, but or the generation that's consuming the media. Exactly. Like you're, or or looking at your generation as if it's better because of this, that, or the other. That makes no sense to me. I guess look at it from like a perspective, of like from their perspective, right? Like you don't think there was people who were older who watched like, I don't know, Adventure Time or like regular show and they listened Actually, to the dialogue. Bo- yeah, both of those I don't really get those shows. Right. But I, I don't condemn them for existing and I understand the generation. That's just because you're an old soul. <laughs> that's why. Oh. No, no, that's not a compliment. <laughs> that's me making fun of you. Okay. Loudly. 
Great. Big Thanks, Bang man. Theory fan. Fuck off. Bazinga. Oh my god. I didn't. I thought Couldn't we were going to watch the regular show, but you could watch Sheldon walk around going Bazinga. Oh, cause there was Penny. 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 <laughs> we'll get to that. Me- meanwhile, you watched Seinfeld at five <laughs> and acted like you understood anything that was going on. The idea of a five-year-old watching Jerry Seinfeld stand-up comedy, and that's exactly what I was. Yeah, yeah. Picture he, that. He was on stage, and he was like, what's the deal with driving on the wrong side of the road? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's I me, get that. That's me in my room, and my mom in the other room going, hijo de la puta. Just praying, <laughs> praying to God for your soul. Yeah, praying the devil away. <laughs> Not understanding why I'm into Kramer. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> no, see, but like I, I could imagine somebody from an older generation watching a show like regular show mm-hmm. and, and being like, what is this? Right. It's like because the regular show is a perfect depiction of what like the way that we used to talk to each other back in the day. Like, mm-hmm. what's up, man? How are you, bro? You know? Yeah. just Yeah. It was it was kind of elevated and. I mean, it's an exaggerated version, but that's exactly what that is. It's an over-exaggerated way of how teenagers talk. Yeah, it's a, and it's also a cartoon. <laughs> Why are you thinking this much about a cartoon? Or like, or not, yeah. okay, granted, we're going on a probably a half hour point about this show. Look, but, brother, this is called content. <laughs> is what it's called. <laughs> but like, how how is it so stuck in your mind that you that you have to post about it on on X? On X, you have to open up your phone, go to the X app. Yeah, hold that thought the entire time. The whole time. That. Yeah. And and I know this person. I'm willing to bet they like rewrote that <laughs> fucking five times. post <laughs> five times. Easy. They have seven drafts saves, saved <laughs> in their notes. No, no. If I, I need to change that word. Maybe because, I put a comma here. But yeah. If I didn't put a comma there, they wouldn't understand the the exclamation that I mean actually at this point of the sentence. On top of everything else, I mean this movie's in theaters. So here's the thing, sir. I, I I'm sure you're not listening, but I hope this clip finds I, you somehow. I, I, I wanted to find you. I really do. Dorito guy twenty seven. I don't even remember. You somehow found a clip of a movie that is still in theaters. <laughs> Which means you had to search for that. You had to dig deep. Like you had to, yeah, you had to be very specific. You watched with how a you version. Searched. You watched a version of the movie with Chinese subtitles <laughs> and a dude coughing to the right, just so you can get that little little, little clip. Quote, uh, clip. Thank yeah. you. So that you can put it on on your ex and then be like, the poor writing. <laughs> guys, guess <right>? what? <laughs> Good point. And then. For not only that, I mean, what's even better is that everyone on the app is like, um, it's a kid's movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that when like one asshole comes out, but everybody else is just like, what, what are you freaking out about, dude? Well, like, it's seriously. like, it reminds me of like when the Minions movie came out and there was like a bunch of like 20 year olds being like, what is this shit? Let mm-hmm. me tell you what it is, bro. It's essentially Nick Jr. Yeah. For for but in a in a movie setting, right? Because this movie was made specifically for children. Young children. Not you. If you don't get it, maybe that's a sign. Maybe you should stop consuming that type of media. Right. Maybe you should start reading books. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know, go play Skyrim for the 30th hour. I, who cares? Just whatever. Right. But, but this obviously wasn't for you. So why do you the the minion saying no did I I didn't get it but it wasn't for me yeah it would it would be like trying to show people Rugrats now and expecting them to totally get it, it yeah it's it's not something it's that's going to be understood different generations yeah and that's that's fine it's the same reason we don't find like most slapstick movies funny anymore exactly like because like that was comedy for our parents right and that's fine that they found it funny and maybe you can find some humor in it but like if you don't you don't have to fucking tell the world about it dude. yeah it's it would be like somebody uh criticizing mr bean like yes i it's, love yeah. mr bean but that like it is a very niche it was made for a generation yeah and it was a style of comedy which, I mean, I still think it holds up. I, I agree, but not everybody does, and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But the only difference is um, I'm not going on Twitter and, like, finding a <laughs> copyrighted or, like, an unreleased movies clip and putting it on my Twitter and then putting a caption with it and then being like, people are going to agree with me. Mm-hmm. No one agreed with you, bro. 
you suck. Yeah. Like you are you are thinking too much about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. But I also love what this shows me though is that we were finally kind of starting to become self-aware that maybe as adults we should stop consuming children's media because that's no, a normal thing to do. Yeah. Like unless you're super into like children's media, which is fine. Like or, if you prefer or, animation or whatever, Maybe find a different form of animation. Yeah. Because maybe you're getting to the point where, you know, the kids' jokes just don't land with you anymore. And, and, that's, and that's fine, fine dude. Just, that's normal. Just There's progress. a reason I don't watch the fucking Wiggles anymore. <laughs> it's because I'm 27. Right. I'm not, I'm not sitting there going like, fruit Ooh. salad. <laughs> a yummy, a yummy. You know, like, that's not oh, my thing I love anymore. the purple one. <laughs> the purple one's the best. He's the OG. He's actually the bad boy of the crew. Yeah, I, no, that's why I, I like him so much. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbed him with a pool noodle. Yum it, and then fed him to the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You want to know what's crazy? At work the other day, I heard somebody say "great googly moogly." Yeah, nice. Do, do, yeah. In a regular context, it's like yeah, they just they like I put down like a plate, uh, one of the plates, and they said "great googly moogly," and I, I. I was so happy that I actually understood that reference. What a beautiful situation. <laughs> it's so great. It, it, it's a nice connection between people. Dude, I, I yeah, I'm telling you, when you find a local v- Wiggles fan, it's a totally different. Yeah, totally different it, it, it hits different for sure. Yeah. You guys just sit there and you talk about your favorite albums, mm-hmm. talk about your favorite Wiggle. Yep. You're like, dude, the dinosaur, am I right? And they're like, brother, I'm telling you. The fucking dinosaur. I don't even know if, I. do you remember like TV shows from when we were a kid? A little bit, like like the great Googly Moogly. Yeah, I know I can picture yeah. the cartoon. I can't remember the name, but I can picture the cartoon. It's like the big yellow dinosaur thing with the red spots, and the red spots come off, and yeah, like do things. I remember that. Yeah, they used to like jump into them. <laughs> that was a trip. Yeah, it was like a portal. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, <laughs> so I remember it a little bit. Did you but- have like TV? So like uh, in my household when we would get ready for the morning before school, Mm -hmm. you know, when my mom's trying to like gather all the children and I had two older brothers who are like well older than I was at the time, you know, like they're four and five years older than I am. Right. So my mom would put on like, it was one of two things. Right. Um, so it was either like children's cartoons, which I mean, you know, it was like Nick jr. Yeah. Or like PBS because you know, we didn't pay cable that month or whatever. And got that. Arthur, you got to watch Arthur. Arthur, uh, I got to see that little runt Caillou. Which oh fuck Caillou, dude, that Arthur. kid sucks, bro. I, I no, you know who else show. sucked? Uh, Max and Ruby. Do you remember mm. Max and Ruby? The bunnies. Yeah. I actually liked that one. Well, no, I love that show, but the, the reason I liked it is because Max had like an imagination, right? Nah. Like that dude was like weird. He was out of this world, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, then Ruby was the one, <laughs> and she'd always be like, "Shut your mouth." <laughs> You don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Stop it. God. Yeah. Did they have British accents? I don't know I don't why, think but they I feel did. like Ruby had British accent. I think that's just your your uh, hatred towards the Brits. <laughs> yeah. I don't even hate I love British people. Well, I think it was just your uh preconceived notions as like she was the colonizer. The the superior, uh, the uh yeah. the the haughty <laughs> Ruby the colonizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He, therefore, she had a British accent. Makes yeah. sense. She'd walk into a room and be like, listen to me. And I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, Ruby. What, what, what do you her. got to say, man? No, but, dude, but Caillou. Like, I hated that kid. Even as a kid, I hated that kid. I didn't really watch it. I could, Well, it's because but, he reminded me of, like, that. I mean, everybody had a kid in class that was just like Caillou. You know, like, they would walk in and the teacher would be like, Kai, Caillou, please stop, like, sniffing your fingers after you shove it in your ass. And he'd be like... I'm going to tell my parents on you. <laughs> I'm allowed to do this. And it's, and you know what? Here's the thing. If you ever want to know what kind of a person you're dealing with, tell the, ask them whether or not they like Caillou growing up. And that, that's an indicator right there. Yeah. If they say that they liked Caillou, then you're dealing with an adult who might be a baby. Yeah. Who might wear diapers. <laughs> Speaking of diapers, make sure you buy the, buy the brand new Depends shooting from the hip <laughs> diapers that's for all you listeners out there once again use promo code shooting <laughs> from the hip on your depends adult diapers to get a 20 percent discount on it's your I- adult diapers it's ideal f- it's convenient 
ideal for restaurant workers or anyone in the service industry. I don't know about you, but I'm wearing mine right now, and right I'm now. incredibly comfortable. Uh, yeah. my, no chafing. My it's diaper, fantastic. My diaper has been loaded for at least three hours, and I haven't had one Yeah, rash. I'm at like 3.5. Yeah. And, and nothing. No no leaks, no rashes. Now I'm, is that, I'm very is that, satisfied. Is that metric or... Um, uh, yeah, it's metric. Uh, okay. we're, we're, we're a global podcast here, so we want to make sure we include our metric brethren. That is true. I noticed you were a little taller sitting in your seat today. No, thank that's, you. Once again, that's shooting from the hip. <laughs> Depends. Adult diapers. Sponsored by Depends. Wearing adult diapers. We're wearing adult diapers, both Richard and I. Right now. Back to Caillou. There, there's just something about him. And then what, what else bothered me about it was, I don't know if you remember the parents in the situation. No. Okay, the mom and the dad had the same haircut. That's already <laughs> that's alarming. Problematic. Yeah. And you could barely tell the difference between the mom and the dad. Well, the dad wore a tie and did the he mom wear a did, tie? I don't know. Okay, I don't know because the dad kind of like wore this weird sweater with oh, that yeah, might have been the mom. Right. One of them wore the weird frou frou sweater, but they had the same kind of like short haircut. With a little swoop to the side. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember being like, well, of course they can't control their kid. They can't even control themselves. You know, like <laughs> they can't even comb their hair. Yeah, so of course they can't control a child. Their kid walks into the room and just starts knocking things over, and they're like, "Oh, Kai, you stop it!" And and can Please. I just say that that is like example number one of why children. I'm not going to say should get beat, but <laughs> <laughs> corporal punishment does work. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was scared. A PSA to- <laughs> from the Shooting from the Hip podcast. Whoop your children's ass. I'm just saying, I didn't act up in public. I still don't act up in public. So something worked. And, and PBS had some crazy shows growing up. Like just I really whole- only remember Arthur. Well, yeah, Ar- Arthur was nuts. Do you remember the episode of Arthur where he cusses? No. How do you not? What? You know, I, I probably didn't watch that one. Um, but wasn't there like a parallel between that and a South Park episode? Um, no, I think it's more of a SpongeBob thing, right? Where like they use the swear word and it's like, it's not okay to oh, use swear words. It, but it, it brings in the dolphin noise and it's like, Arr! well, no, they don't do that. They just use a straight bleep. Oh, okay. It's jarring. Like you're watching an episode on Arthur and like DW. <laughs> There's like, a beep. And- yeah. She like knocks over the, she knocks over something like, with like Arthur. a vase or something. Yeah, and Arthur's like, DW, you stupid <laughs> idiot. I can't <laughs> mother. <laughs> and you're like, wow, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of home. And then the the principal rat. <laughs> do you remember the rat? The principal? Rat? I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like he was like, guys, you got to stop using. You can't these. do that. You got to use like, stop using these words. It's <laughs> just it's not appropriate language <laughs> yeah. for common use. Yeah, dude. Right? And that, like that was a thirty minute episode on PBS. I wonder what they were trying to like. What well, do you think they were trying to gain out of putting well, that? Well, like, like out? you can't cuss, and children shouldn't cuss. So, so we're gonna cuss so we're on gonna, TV for you. <laughs> we're gonna cuss on TV, but show you why it's bad. It's the same thing about that Holes book that we talked about. Whenever the teacher read "ass" in front of the entire mm-hmm. classroom, and everyone was like, "Oh, <gasps> no, oh. I don't want to hear one word, yeah. Timmy." People swinging from no. the fucking <laughs> ceiling, and he's like. Guys, this isn't Guys, funny. <laughs> said ass. It's nothing. Yeah. He said it again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I do feel like I kind of grew up a little differently in that mm-hmm. in that regard because cuss words were just standard. Well, they were standard. You always heard them. But you weren't but, allowed to say them. Well, th- there was like a rule. Oh. You had, if you knew what you were saying, and there was it, there's a right and a wrong place for everything. Yeah. So in front of grandma, not good. In front of regular public, not good. If you're just at home, f- shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just used it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I was two years old kicking open the door, yelling at the dogs to shut the fuck up. Nice. <laughs> and neighbors looking at, at it like it's oh. a fucking travesty. Oh. But I, I also, like... But I'm cuss words were fairly normalized, but 
there was always like you you also had to understand that there was a time and a place for everything and you had to know what you were saying. Yeah, your parents were like, "Hey, it's cool if you just use the f bomb in the the playpen at McDonald's." Yeah, that's totally fine. But <laughs> but wait, know. no, that was fine. I said that wasn't fine. Oh, <laughs> mom, I'm fucking lost. <laughs> oh no, fuck Jimmy. All right, <laughs> fuck that kid. This is his third time going down the slide. I'm or, tired of him. I, I only went down once, and he's gone down three times. It is fucking bullshit. Yeah. What, are we supposed to just follow behind him because he has Heelys? <laughs> Fuck your Heelys, bro, all right? Because yeah. your mom can afford them. Yeah, right. guess what, dude? I might not have Heelys, but, um, yeah. I got, I I got have- Mike <laughs> 1, and I got Mike 2 here, bro. <laughs> Speaking to one, if, I, if you don't got it, I got backup. All yeah, right? brother. Let you me want, tell you. You. Want to, you want to speak into these motherfuckers? Yeah. Your mom just like, yeah, my sweet boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him up there just running around like a little. I know. Like, I, I learned like a good <laughs> dichotomy. Like, I, yes, I cuss like a sailor, but I know like when I'm in a professional setting, I'm in a professional setting. This is not a professional setting. What do you consider a professional? Uh, when I'm at work okay. or. Like in a meeting or yeah, something. Yeah, you're not like walking. You're, you're, I'm so not like, going to come in. Well, okay, we can't just keep fucking doing this, all right, guys? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like up to like a table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck do you want? All right, dude. Hey, hey did you turd cutters get a chance to take a look come at the menu? Come on, dude. You're just fucking sitting there <laughs> reading the menu for the past 32 fucking minutes. Why Maybe I can you? like offer you like a special or some shit. Like, I don't read know. the fucking menu, all right? <laughs> This is going to be the highest. Shit. It's going to be the highest cuss word count we've ever had on a podcast. It actually is. We're, we're usually, uh, and I'd say we're pretty good about we're, it. We're, we're getting better. Like I said, my father once told me that the reason he doesn't listen to the podcast is because he thinks it's as us just figuring out different ways so, to I'm, say the F word. I'm sorry, Juan's dad. This, this is a pretty I'm bad s- example of our fucking podcast. I'm right sorry, here. Mr. Jackson. Ooh, <laughs> I am for real. Thanks, dude. That was good. Yo, Richard's in a coma, right? He just slapped the desk. <laughs> that was fucking great. <laughs> dude, he slapped the desk. That's what I'm talking about. No, dude, so... Um, yeah, so what so, was cussing... Like, okay, so in your household when you were growing up... Oh, like, it, was a, it was a big no-no. Completely. Yeah. Yeah, no cuss words. Even now. Like, I don't use cuss words in front of either of my parents. I don't watch... It. Like, my, my mom will, like, like, watch TV shows that have cuss words in them, but she doesn't like me cussing. And my dad... Well, uh, so my dad has a very specific way of watching TV shows and movies mm-hmm. where he has a limit of how much cussing can be used in a TV show. In a so, movie. so he's like the, um, the, the board that goes on the rating system, the yeah, rating system board. Exactly. Like he'll watch like a, five fucks. No, no go. No, like, but you, like maybe one, one shit or like if there's hell. one, yeah, if there's one F word, he's cool with it. If like, well, not cool with it, but But like, you know, it's acceptable. Yeah. He'll be bothered by it. I've only heard him laugh at a cuss word once. And it was during, uh, we, we took him to the movie theater to watch uh, Avengers, the, the second part of the, not end game, but infinity war, War. that one. Yeah. We took him to watch or end game. Switch it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we we took him to watch end game. And what password was it? Well, no. So there's just a part where like uh, Captain America goes, he's like watching himself fight, and he's like, "That's definitely America's ass." And my oh. dad chuckled. <laughs> that's the only that, time that I've ever heard line. him laugh at a cuss word. So he's very specific. So if that goes to show you the stringency of not having cuss words in our house was like, like very thresholds. high. Yeah, yeah. You weren't allowed to like. Um, there was a while, like, I remember yo- when I was younger, we weren't allowed to, like, say shut up because that was a cuss word. And we weren't allowed to say gosh because that's... That was in place of yeah. taking the Lord's name in exactly. vain. Exactly. And, like, you know, we you know we weren't allowed to say, like, simple things like shit. <laughs> no, but <laughs> simple. Like, yeah, no, like, we weren't allowed to say crap growing mm-hmm. up. Like, it, that was just a big no-no. And, I mean, you know, it taught us that like in a professional setting or in like polite company, you just don't use that kind of language. Right. So So is it like rebellious in in your instance, like where you started to cuss? At first it was, I mean, like I went over to, like I had a friend who, whose parents just like 
you know, like you know that friend like whose parents just the, don't give the a shit. quote unquote cool parents yeah. that are always gone and yeah you like walk into the house and like the mom's just sitting on the couch and she smoking looks at you and she's right, like drinking Pinot Grigio not even Pinot like she was a straight Budweiser one <laughs> <laughs> has a PBR in her hand straight up like she <laughs> she used to just let us watch like like my parents not my parents but like my dad didn't like me watching like pro wrestling growing up because it's too violent. No, because it was crass. Because like in early two thousands, oh yeah, there was that a was lot the like, attitude era. Yeah, it was ruthless aggression, and it was like I mean, like that was when they still like tore like there was matches where like women would like tear each other's bras off for like and like that's the winner. <laughs> the winner is the person who's naked, and it's like you know, all like, right, yeah. <laughs> so like I understand why feels my dad, like I'm the winner, but all right. <laughs> well, I understand why my dad was like, I don't want you watching. That's that. fair. Yeah, that was like that was a different era of wrestling. That wasn't the '80s Hulk Hogan that he grew up with. Yeah, and he didn't even like that. Like he just thought wrestling was goofy, and I think that's the reason he didn't want me watching pro wrestling is because he thought it was just dumb. And see, I grew up with Stone Cold and and The Rock on my TV screen all the time. See, but that's the that's the weird thing is that. He thought pro wrestling was dumb, but, like, he used to, like, let me watch, like, Mr. Bean. Right, which is Just, also slapstick comedy. Yeah. Like, but, you know, it didn't cuss, and it wasn't violent. So well, he, was, he like, didn't talk. So <laughs> Yeah, whereas, like, in reality, he'd be like, fuck! You know, like, <laughs> slam his hand on the door. Son of a bitch! <laughs> no, but it is goofy Mr. Bean voice. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! No, so, like, yeah, he just didn't like me watching crass mm-hmm. things and like crass humor like um i told you i used to watch seinfeld when i was younger the right. only reason i watched seinfeld is because my dad went away to work and he wouldn't be there the entire week and my mom just was like whatever i you don't know? understand well so. not even that i think she was just a little looser with her rules you know she was just kind of like you know whatever as long as you're not like emulating what they're doing it's fine mm. you know and so I would watch Seinfeld and I remember my dad specifically. So my, my uncle found out that I was getting into stand up comedy and he asked me what I was watching. And I told him that I liked Dane cook. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, everybody had a Dane. No, cook I face. had a Dane okay. cook face, uh, but I'm just from <laughs> yeah. your uncle's perspective. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, your little eight year old nephew being like, I like Dane cooks vicious mm, circle. Of course you do. <laughs> But yeah, he'll grow like, up soon. Well, that's what he told me. He was like, "Dude, I got, I got some, I got something to show you." You know. So he went out and he rented me a Seinfeld stand-up comedy special. Uh huh. And my dad found out that Seinfeld uses the word "hell" and "damn," in in the in the special, and he returned the he returned it for me. He just Said got no. rid of it. Yeah, and he did that a couple of times. Like I had a shirt that I really liked, and it's it was a it was a guy with a sombrero. And he was holding on to like two chicks and it said two for one. Right? <laughs> and I love that shirt. Uh-huh. And he just got rid of it because he was like, it's crass. I don't like that. Uh, yeah. And, and then I, I had to bring me the Horizon tank top that had like a pentagram on it. And he oh, literally, God, he no. literally burnt it. <laughs> he li- I, I could see that coming from your dad. <laughs> I could totally fucking see that. Meanwhile, I'm going into fucking middle school with a uh, Sturgis Rally 69 anniversary with literally two skeletons 69ing <laughs> and the and teachers are like badass bro <laughs> that's fucking sick dude <laughs> i went to that rally yeah it was it was weird growing up in the situation mm-hmm. and the reason i say it's weird is because like i told you it was growing up on the tv in the morning it was either children's cartoons but on the other end my mom would watch like mexican like reggaeton music videos Oh, okay. So, like, I wasn't allowed to watch crass things, but, like, the music videos would have women, like, shaking their asses. And in, literally their chest falling out of their, their dress. Yeah, like, just constantly. <laughs> and I was always that's so not, confused. That's, that's cool, but this, yeah, no. I was always so confused as a kid because I was like, okay, is this okay? But that's not, like, I don't under What am I supposed to do here? And, like, mm. it was just a weird thing to kind of, like, try and grasp as a child where like one second you're watching Caillou and the next <laughs> second you're watching a chick do a backflip and a thong to like a song that's like dum, ding, dum, ding, dum, ding, dum, ding. and you're just like huh and like I spoke Spanish and the lyrics were like you know 
there was lyrics that like translated to English was like she's got skin like caramel and her ass is hot. <laughs> Wait, well, I'm not allowed to watch Seinfeld? You know? <laughs> right. Like it was just weird. Like the double standards were strange growing up, you know? Yeah. You know, the biggest double standard for me growing up was the the dichotomy between sex and violence. Violence was totally fine, <laughs> but sex, God no. Yeah. And yeah, you could see somebody literally get to- like cut in half <laughs> by a helicopter blade. But if it, one tit, no, sir. Yeah, that's no, how sir. It was, you're not watching that. That's how it was in our not house until too. you're ten years old. Have you ever um, have you ever watched a, a sex scene around like a parent? Mm. So actually, recently, my mom and I started watching Love. Okay. Because I I love that show, and yeah, it's it is a actually show. a very well written show, but. I forget how many sex scenes are in there. And it's oh, not yeah. like the first one that we've watched around each other. Cause I mean, she understood basically after 18. Yeah. You're, you're not control. Like I'm me. I'm yeah. going to do whatever I want. You're an adult after 18. Exactly. Yeah. Well, even like there was always an understanding and a healthy respect and boundary. Well, yeah. Don't, don't like be disrespectful in my house. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, wh- it's still awkward watching sex scenes. It's still hella awkward. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> That's normal. That's a very normal thing. Yeah, but I watched I watched a sex scene um, in front of someone else's parents. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, and was, you still feel awkward because you're like, I'm still a kid. I don't. Oh, it's <laughs> horrible. It was horrifying. Yeah, one of the worst things I've ever experienced. I Why? was sitting, well, because I'm there, sitting in the living room. There's more details that you're not <laughs> revealing yet. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> Spicy. No, I, I'm sitting in the living room with this, um, I think it was a girl I was dating. And we're oh, watching. that's even more awkward. Oh, yeah. We're watching a movie and like. With her parents? Yeah. And it's not like a normal, like, it's not like a normal sex What scene. movie was it? Okay, we were watching. Forgetting Sarah Marshall together. Oh God, okay. dude! And there's that there's scene where they're like having Russell Brand and uh, yeah, where they're having sex and they're like combating in yeah. the separate rooms and they have the wall in between. They're seeing like who can be the loudest. Right? That's fucking hella awkward. Yeah. And no, what's even worse is that I remember the dad looking over it and being like, "I've made your mom sound like that before." And <laughs> Richard's having a conniption over here. Just give me a minute. I almost choked, dude. I was like, I was in mid like popcorn curl. <laughs> How the fuck do you react to that? Yeah, I was in the middle of like chewing popcorn. And I went, oh, oh, oh. I, I need a moment. I need a moment. Just yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it's a bad situation with when the only thing that like bring down like the tension in the room is you just like straight up going like, <laughs> you know, and then people uh, would talk about the fart. Yeah. Yeah. But he said that, and no one laughed. Of so course. of course, like ten seconds passed, and I went, <laughs> "That's uh, that's, that's good, e- dude. That's even worse than laughing automatically." What am I supposed to do, man? I didn't you know just how to stay break the silent. Te- I was eighteen, man. I didn't know how to break <laughs> the tension. I was what was I? I was just sit there and just be like, "That's cool, bro. <laughs> nice, brother. Come over here." <laughs> I plan on doing that later with your daughter. So <laughs> hey, big that's dog, that's fucking great. How about you show me some of those moves? <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to take notes. <laughs> that's sick, dude. I don't know. It's so wrong. Ay, Dios mío. But yeah, dude, it was weird growing up in that situation because I get that. You know, I was confused. I didn't know. It what is to- confusing because, like, well, you're told well, one thing and then you're yeah. told a completely different thing and you're just supposed to accept it and be like, that's normal. That's what yeah. life is. Well, like uh, one of the first R-rated movies I watched was Terminator, the original 1980 Terminator. And there's the sex scene in there. It's like totally like bear rated R. It just happens to happen too, which is the worst part about that yeah. sex scene. There's because, no reason for it. Exactly. It, yeah, it's well, it, it, there is a reason because in the story, that's how John Connor gets. Yeah. So it is important to the story. Wait, but hold on. I just realized something. They canoned, like, they canoned a sex scene. Robot jizz into the movie? No, no. Well, t- the original Terminator. Oh, right. No, is my bad. Arnold is chasing Sarah Connor thought, and trying I, to kill for her. For some reason, I thought. You went Judgment Day. I thought. For some reason, Terminator was banging Sarah Connor. And no, then no, it's Reese. Like, I half, think that's his name. He's half robot. robot. Yeah, 
Um, but no, anyway, it is like crucial for the story that the sex scene exists. But does it need to be depicted? No, but or it can did it be just because like, it's the eighties and yeah, of course, tits, but <laughs> everywhere. But yeah, all of the rest you of the children movie, in your movies—they're so crass. <laughs> yeah. All the rest of the movie, somebody getting shot in the back, like shotgun blasts going over, blood spurting, perfectly fine. But two pairs, two tits? No, no, sir. No, no, sir. We used to do earmuffs in that same regard. So, uh, weird tidbit. Um, My, me and my brothers and my cousins in Mexico really enjoyed the movie Titanic growing up. Okay. Ja- oh, with the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. Yeah, no, well, there's that scene where they're in the car, right? Mm. You know? And it gets buck wild. The- yeah, the, <laughs> the hand on the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> I'm actually just realizing this now, but uh, my brothers would used to make everyone else leave the room. Right, because because they didn't my even show anything. Well, yeah, but because but it was because like my mom was like, I don't want the younger kids watching it. Like they just knew we really liked Titanic, and my mom was like, Well, that's fucking weird, but okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll show the kids a little weird, yeah. yeah. Kid, like a room full of fucking nine year olds being like, Yay, Titanic, <laughs> woo, James Cameron's masterpiece, you know. <laughs> And so, I'm like, sure that's what you were thinking. Well, no, it's because we knew what, like, when it would happen, mm-hmm. right? Because we watched it like 20 times. You had the minute mark. Well, no, because we watched it on VHS, and that scene doesn't happen until you switch over to the second VHS. Because remember, VHS is you, movies used to oh, come in yeah. separate VHSs. Yeah. If it was a Titan, I only like had Universal Soldier or Hell yeah, dude. or Jurassic Park. No, for real though, man, you, you're you're coming up with like a. Bulls and like a ninety-eight Bulls lineup right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah American Orion. Soldier, Jurassic Universal Park. Soldier. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, Jurassic Park, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Holy shit, man! You just straight up said you. You just straight up said Jordan, <laughs> Pippen, <laughs> Rodman. <laughs> Yeah, those were like the only VHSs I owned. So, like, and none of them were over an hour and a half. Yeah, no. So, well, so Titanic is like a, a long ass movie. Yeah, like a 17 hour I watched movie. it once. Oh, that's the only time you've seen it? I watched it once. Dude, I've and seen it was, that movie way too many times to count. I think it's the reason I'm afraid to travel. Yeah. Well, because, you know, you got to think, like, as a six year old, I saw a bunch of people get on a boat and then the and boat then gets And then they murdered. die. Yeah. <laughs> All of them die. Yeah. So. And, then, and then my girlfriend's like, we're going to take a plane to Germany. And I was like, I don't want to get on the thing. <laughs> no, Please. sir. Thank you. No, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. But no, the, yeah, we watched, we would. All as children watched oh, okay. Titanic. Yeah, we were on sex scene. That's right. And then the <laughs> sex scene would happen, and everyone was asked to leave the room except for my brothers because they were but the they oldest. But they didn't even show anything. Well, no, well, but whenever she does the paint me like a French girl thing, you know, and she Do pops show, out the yeah, she pops out some bazookas, huh. and they make everybody they would make everyone leave the room, right? And what's crazy is that like I'm not allowed to see a woman's boobs, but like ten minutes later, I'm allowed to watch like a like people literally just. Fucking dying. Yeah, <laughs> like, literally. Like the depiction like, of one of the worst tragedies in human history. <laughs> cinematography on point too. Yeah, like, everything's perfect. Yeah, like people <laughs> jumping off the side of the boat, literally killing themselves yeah. so they they don't die a worse well, death. No, honey, I I don't like but you. But no tits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, little Juanito, no tits. All right. <laughs> You can watch this guy get ca- decapitated. <laughs> no tits. All right. Okay, now check out this guy getting murked by the front of the boat. Oh, that's a tit. Oh, get get, no, out, get of out, out of the room. Get out Come of the on. room. Sweet, Come on. I, I don't want your mind being tainted. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. It is so fucking weird how, yeah, like, how violence that was worked. perfectly fine growing up. I remember yeah. that. Like, and it was the thing. Like, violence was fine in a certain aspect. Like, they didn't like me watching horror movies. But and it, see, I was I, I watched horror movies ever since I was yeah, but action knee high movies, to a grass, grasshopper. Action movies, they're like, yeah, that's cool. Get in there. Commando, you can watch him literally murk <laughs> an entire compound of people. Yeah, watching a guy's head get ripped off from his jaw. But, but hey. Tit, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I don't even want to see one butt cheek. That's where I cross the line. <laughs> that, that. 
is where I cross the line. I don't want <laughs> I don't want any of it. Honey, I want you to stay pure. pure. Yeah, in I the don't background, want your there's mind. like a guy getting shot like <laughs> a thousand times. Oh, oh, like Robocop's death scene, and they're just Oh like, god, yeah. yeah. Honey, I watched you, that at like eight. Yeah, but <laughs> if you hear but if you hear an F word, I want you to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and see, yeah, the cuss words still weren't a problem for me, but yeah, one tit, no sir. And that was the other thing is that like my mom would watch like telenovelas growing up, which are the raunchiest fucking Dude, pieces of media out there. The entire like the entire story, like do you, like people don't like, like. I'm sure they realize this, but a synopsis of every telenovela is like these two are gonna bang, and we're gonna spend ninety episodes getting to them banging. Yeah, while they bang other, other people. people on the way to them banging each other because it's a journey. And my mom was <laughs> like, "You can sit in here and watch this. That's, That's fine. fine. Yeah, I mean, it, there's no nudity, and they don't say cuss words. There's just the idea, like you know, but you're not gonna watch it. You know, they're gonna bone. Like I remember, like that was fine in the household with my mom, and the other thing that was fine in the household was like dating shows. Like, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember like VH1's Real Chance of Love? No. Or like I Love New York or like no. Brett Harkle, Brett Michaels, Rock of Love. I remember that. Okay. So we were allowed to watch that. Why? <laughs> like Why Flavor of you? Love, we were cool with. Like my mom would, she would gather her children around the TV <laughs> and be like, we're all well, going to. Well, no, we need to know what happens yeah, this week. As a family, we're going to watch <laughs> this. And this was our bonding experience. But like, you know, it would be like a guy, like. I remember as a kid watching like Flavor Flav make out with like six different people in an episode and thinking in my head, like, this doesn't seem right. Right? Right. But then I would turn around and be like, hey, can we watch Family Guy? And she'd be like, no. No, it's terrible. No. What is wrong with you? God, I used to have to sneak watch Family Guy. Yeah. And then like eventually I think they understood that I'm just going to watch what it, <laughs> because they tried to. Did they ever try to do that like weird little Oh, the parents are control? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I found that pin out in two days. Yeah. And then you just don't tell them and, <laughs> and, and, and watch what. No, actually, what's even worse is, uh, yeah, dad, I'm doxing you, but I he gave me the code because I want to bet. Nice. <laughs> so- Dude, what? Hold on. <laughs> You guys had a bet, and he was like, if you win, you get the I'll give you the parental controls. You get the parental controls of the skin of Max, big guy. (laughs) And I was like, all right, cool. (laughs) What's the bet? (laughs) Fucking 2985? All right, cool. Wait, what was the bet, though? I don't even remember. It was like, it was something really stupid. Like, who's going to come back first from, like, we're at the restaurant. Who's going to come back first from the bathroom or something like that? That's nuts, and he just gave up some piece of information (laughs) like that? He, well, he didn't make it obvious, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I just, I was like, hmm? and he was like, all right. Just write down you know a what piece he said? of paper. He straight up looked you in the eyes and said, tits. <laughs> well, you, he also guy. had Easy Rider in the bathroom. Like, it's not <laughs> Easy Rider. For those who don't know, it's like. It's better than it being on the coffee table, though. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. Was like, it, it was at least No, in but the explain bathroom. to the audience because there's no way they know what Easy Rider well, is. Well, Easy Rider is like Playboy, but for bikers. Like you, you still have the jokes and articles section. Yeah, but that, that's the reason you read it. Oh yeah, it's for the articles. Yeah, it's for nothing else. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it it was it was Playboy, but for bikers. I I love the idea of your father essentially being like, "Hey man, you beat me in a battle of wits. <laughs> <laughs> it's a battle of wits. <laughs> You've won. <laughs> Good job, son." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is this place? <laughs> this, my son, <laughs> is the land of tits. <laughs> and they're like in the background, and dude, in the background, it's just like Motley Cruz girls, girls, <laughs> girls, just fucking rocking. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. <laughs> Dad, what? Is, oh. <laughs> just don't tell your mom about this. You s- <laughs> everything you see, <laughs> everything the t- sun touches. It's It's yours. (laughs) What is that? That, my boy, is Farrah Fawcett. (laughs) And you just like, yeah. No, ours was Pamela Anderson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Because not only did you have Baywatch, Baywatch, but did you ever watch um, Barbed Wire? No, what's Barbed Wire? That's where uh, Pamela Anderson is a secret spy in a post-apocalyptic world. (laughs) 
and wears a skin tight leather leather jumpsuit. That is barbed wire. <laughs> it was the eighties. That is the most <laughs> nice oh, or early nineties. Yeah, that is the most nineties thing I've ever heard in my life. Pamela Anderson I'm gonna, is a secret Asian. <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna read it for you. Yeah, please give me the synopsis. Give me, please. I want to know because this is this 1996, is year I was born. Yeah. The show A Barbed sexy Wire. nightclub owner, Barb Wire, Pamela Anderson Lee, moonlights as a mercenary in Steel Harbor, one of the last free zones in the now fascist United States. When scientist Cora Devonshire, Victoria Ro- Roel, wanders into Barb's estas- establishment, she gets roped into a top-secret government plot oh involving biological weapons. Soon, Barb is reunited with her old flame, Axel Hood, played by Tamara <laughs> Morrison, who is now Cora's husband and a guerrilla fighter, resulting in plenty of tense action. Dude, I gotta watch this <laughs> so much. It's called what? It's called Barb Wire. Send it to me. <laughs> this has to be seen. This is Literally, amazing. Literally, two words, Barb Wire. <laughs> Made in 1996, it is rated 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, that makes it even better. It's so it's it, it's so great. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> so you had Barbed Wire and Baywatch on the TV back to back, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You're there. About. <laughs> what a life! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah so that's see, a no, little peek like, into Richard's childhood right there. Yeah. No. See, that's the difference in my house. It was either telenovelas or you know. The real chance of love or rock of love yeah. with Brett Michaels. <laughs> like And see, I had um Days of Our Lives because of my mom. Yeah. So I watched plenty of that. CMT country music television. Dude, got I plenty love plenty of that. I love the way those TV shows work because like it's always the same thing. It's it, like, well, I don't know about you, but like in Mexican telenovelas, especially the one that my mom liked to watch, was like um there's this show called La Fama's Bea, which is an American version. There's, the family is beautiful. No, uh, in the American version, it's called Ugly Betty, right? So there's this girl that is like, she's, she's <laughs> in the TV show, she's supposed to be butt ass ugly. She's not ugly. She's a, like, they're a pretty girl, but like, Latina. you know, in, in Mexico, they're like, oh, like she has like pimples on her forehead. <laughs> she wears braces and look at her, her glasses are, they have like, like you can see the rims on her glasses. You know what I mean? And then, like, she starts working at this place, and this guy who's, like, dating this, like, model, essentially, is, like, oh, um, he, like, runs, bumps into her, and, like, at first, he's, like, I pay no mind to you, peasant, get away from me, (laughs) walk off, go on, secretary, ugly trash, you know, and she's, like, oh, okay, sir, yes, sir, absolutely, sir, like, runs off, right, does whatever she does. Ugly shit. <laughs> does she yeah. hold on? Does she die and come back as a beautiful person? No, she just she just gets like a makeover, but really? she lives a double life. Oh, like a Hannah Montana esque kind of like life. Interesting. So like, she starts moonlighting as a hot person <laughs> <laughs> in the TV show. She starts God, moonlighting. This is like uh, she's all that or yeah, straight up like it, fucking nineties movie, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and so she starts like dating this like kind of like dating this like ceo right and he like starts to fall in love with her for who she is and then one day he finds out that she's, she's this hot fucking person ugly. yeah <laughs> but she like one but like what's funny is that like in the show it's supposed to be this sweet like moment but the reality is that the moral of the show is you're not going to get anyone's attention unless you're fucking banging dude. <laughs> and until you figure that out unless unless that is in your Unless you have that in your arsenal, you're done, dog. The se- the done CEO you're matter. into, he doesn't care about you. Not unless you're fucking banging. Not dude. until you put some eyeliner on. <laughs> What's going on, girl? Where's and then, your fucking mascara, dude? And then like the show is just that. And then she like ends up marrying the guy, and it's somehow <laughs> like 300 episodes. And you're just like, I remember when the finale happened. All of Mexico was like at home, like it was the fucking mash finale. <laughs> like they were like, "This is this is golden television." Like me as a nine year old boy used to talk to other nine year old boys about this telenovela <laughs> and be like, "Dude, did you see the last episode?" <laughs> you are like you're at the fucking elementary school around the water cooler. Just hold on. Did you watch? What was it again? 
La Femme is better. But did you, La Femme is better? Yeah. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> pronunciation of that show I've ever heard. Fuck off. All right, All right man. I think we hit our <laughs> ending. <laughs> Um, we appreciate you guys listening and, uh, thank you for following and subscribing and continuing to listen, uh, share with your friends, let people know about it. Um, yeah, I'm Juan. I am always Richard. And, uh, yeah, we're shooting from the hip. Shooting from the hip.